Hello guys, so today I'm on Scratch, and the reason I don't have my webcam up is it's currently really early in the morning, like 6.25 in the morning, so I don't have a shirt on and I'm still in blankets. So, um, what I wanted to record today was my new 3D Maze game and how I made it. So this is just a demo for anyone who wants to build the same game. You can just go in here and copy the scripts. It's really easy. So if you turn this way, you can see that you can go into that dead end and then fall down. And that little string with the rock in it is to make it fall faster. Because I figured that someone complained that someone would complain that it doesn't that a paper doesn't fall fast enough, so it's tied to a rock. So if you want to finish the game, you just go to this side by pressing the side arrow key and then pressing the forward arrow key until you get there. Or if you just press the forward key, then yeah. So how this works is this isn't actually too much script. So we just have the basic move script. So key up arrow, down arrow, right arrow, left arrow. You can change these to W, S, D, A if you want to. What it does is it changes hero up by one. So yeah, hero up. That's not supposed to actually be in the actual game. You're not supposed to see that. But it changes hero up and then waits two seconds. So you can't just... Because if I don't have that, when you press the key, it goes up by like 8,000 each time. Because it's doing it so fast. So what this does is... um, What this does is... It makes it so you, what happens is it changes these values. Now that by itself isn't going to do anything, right? What you also want is when this is for later, we'll check that out later, then set hero right. When flag clicked, set hero right to zero, set hero left set hero up to 10. Now I'm going to drag all these scripts into place so that if you guys want to um, pause the video and use all these scripts, then you can. So I'll pause now if you really want to so that you can um, copy all these scripts. Okay, so now that you have all these scripts, what you're going to want to do is, so you have this one, right? You've built, all, you've built all of this one, so I'll move that to the side a bit. Now you want to build this one, and then you want to build this one. And once you have all of these, what you do is you click costumes, and then you make a single costume, right? And this is where you start when you press flag, okay? And name it zero zero. Make sure to name it zero zero. If you don't name it zero zero, then it won't then nothing will work, okay? So this one's named zero zero. This is when you start when you start the game, right? So um then next next design a um Design a floor for when you move forward, if you even have a forward option. Then design one. I didn't design it in order like this. But, so, um, you have, you have your, um, be beginner, right? Then you want to design a stage for if you go forward into, to wherever this goes for yours. Maybe it goes to the treasure chest. Maybe it leads to a dead end, right? And you want to make a side one. So what I did was I made this. So that when you turn sideways. You see that. And um, 
Now you're going to want to make an option for if you turn that way, if you even have that way. And then continue designing backdrops. So if you want to go this way, you want to put the name as, um, you want to put the name as zero one. And you're going to see why we want to do this for a second, in a second. So what happens is it always changes the, um, always changes the background, um, to whatever this value is, okay? So whatever this value is, here, I'm going to do a thing right now. Whatever this value is, it's going to switch to. So if you click that button, now it's zero, 01. Now you're going to want to name that zero, 01. And then create, and then stage a, um, or create a stage where if you turn that way, and the same for this, just it's negative one, and then forward, and then backward, and yeah. And that's the basics. I'm going to make an advanced one if we can get five likes on this project. Okay? So hit that star button on this project. Also hit that um, heart button right down here. Subscribe and like. And um, I'll see you next time.